Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the black model, uh, black 1976. It's a variant of the black shoals, and it's used for pricing options on uh, future contracts uh, mainly, um, but also instruments like swaptions. So the value of the call is the exponential factor e negative r t f n d one minus k n d two. And D1, D2, quite similar to Black Shoals, uh, except uh, R goes out, and instead of using S, typically, we now have the futures price. So F is the futures price, K is the exercise, sickness, the volatility of the underlying return, and the time period is the maturity to uh, option expiration. So we'll take an example of... Um, government bond and um, or any kind of bond in fact um, so we could think of uh, we have a bond we're pricing the bond it has uh, we start off we're not given the futures price perhaps we're given the spot price of the bond has been 125 uh, strike price which is k 110 um, <coughs> Interest rate is 10% and that's a continuously compounded rate, so it's an exponential. And the bond price volatility 8%. Um, the present value of the coupons to be paid during the life of the option is 10. So, in order to uh, implement the black model, we need a reference value for F, a futures price. And um, uh, to make that happen, we set out the futures price is equal to the current spot bond price minus the present value of the coup coupons. And uh, we compound that using this exponential of e to the power of rt. So we're using the exponential rate, it's 10%, given this 10% uh, continuously compounded, and the future contract is given, is taken to last one year. So that gives us a futures price of F. So nothing remains then except we have F, X, or K, uh, the risk free rate, the volatility, and the time, uh, the maturity. So we estimate D1 using this uh, formula. And again, we implement that. R is no longer here. Um, just purely have sigma. Now we could have uh, multiplied by T, which was one. Okay, and likewise here, multiplied by the square root. If we can find that, square root of one. Okay, so I might just put that there. Just so that the we're consistent. So you, you can see here uh, t sigma squared divided by 2 by t, t being 1. I'd say this. And likewise, um, underneath. I should have had um, also multiplied by multiplied by square root of one, given the fact that it's a maturity of uh, one year. Okay, okay. So when we work out the value of the put option, okay. So we're looking here for the value of the put option, uh, one a one year put option. We it's again a uh, e negative r t, so this is like a discount factor e negative r t, um, k n negative d two minus f n negative d one, and we work this out to be zero point one two. Okay, if we want to estimate the value of the call option 
um, we could use the black model again or we could make reference to put call parity and uh, for futures options on futures put call parity also must apply and the basic identity would be the put plus the discounted value of the futures is equal to the call plus the discounted value of the exercise where x here is given to be the exercise or k so i'm using those to um a little bit confusingly as just meaning the exercise so x is the exercise and k also means the exercise okay so um if i apply that we just worked out that the put was 0 0.12 uh, if we discount the futures at the risk free rate, so that 127.09, if we discount back, it brings us ba back to 125 minus 10, which is 115. So the discounted value of this futures is 115. X was given as being 110. We discount that as well. If we work out the value of the call, it's 15.59 so that also it could be worked out using put call parity or worked out using uh, the black model itself just implement it again okay so um <clears throat> what else then is of relevance here um sometimes okay so this is the value this is an implementation using um the black model so if i didn't use put call parity and i hadn't already estimated the value of the put and i just want to know the value of the call again uh, the formula would be e negative r by t f n d one minus x n d two and keeping in mind i'm missing something here um So I'm just missing, if you like, the time period. So we might want to take that into account when we're looking at these formulas that I had made explicit here, the time period. Just that if it's 1, it tends to fall out. So if we go back and have a look at just the standalone value of the call. Okay, we're getting this value here. As 1559, which is the same as if I had just used put call parity. Okay, so put call parity is holding, and that's a good test that uh, the estimation is done correctly. Okay, in addition, uh, black model frequently is implemented, um, and okay, another type of notation we might use here. Uh, it looks like this. Um, I took this from the web a couple of years ago. I can't remember what the source was. It wasn't Wikipedia as far as I remember. Um, but it's just setting out the value of the call and the pot D1, D2. And if I go back, uh, here we have an explanation of the notation so the psi here denotes the standard normal cumulative probability f the futures x the exercise risk free rate lowercase t is the maturity of the option sigma is the volatility okay and then for um the greeks because also the black model has its own greeks which are a little bit different we have delta gamma, vega, theta, and rho. And uh, we could, using the original notation, um, I set the, so I more or less took this notation and then rewrote the notation here for the black model. Um, so we have delta, uh, vega, gamma, theta, and rho. And we've looked at these for the Black-Scholes model, but they're also a set of uh, 
black creeks that are important as risk management measures or risk management diagnostics if we were to estimate uh, these values okay we need the probability density function okay and uh, delta straightforward to work out but gamma requires not nd1 but actually the probability density function okay and i've looked at that also in a previous video clip but uh, we have a set of for the parameter inputs of f k r t sigma um, we have these estimates for the delta call the gamma call the vega call the theta call and the, the um, call the row estimate for the call and likewise for the put option using the notation before and then just translating it into the notation that i started out with um we have a similar set of options um greeks now notice that the gamma and the vega for the put the gamma and the vega for the put are the same so the call uh, gamma the calls vega is the same as for the puts gamma and vega okay and but tate is different um row is different so on so when we input in the parameter estimates f k r t sigma we get different delta different theta different row but the same gamma same vega okay so let's look at this in excel for a moment okay so i've set out uh, the original question 125 I could take this down a notch um when we generate that's the original bond price present value coupons 10 uh, 127.09 is the futures price and then the exercise 110 risk free rate 10 percent one year volatility eight percent and the value of the call 15 the value of the put which is generated here is 12 and then i've estimated the delta gamma vega theta and rho and i've also used the estimated probability density function so this was n apostrophe uh, d1 and just to look at delta here for a moment it's e negative rt by nd1 and to get the formulas it's just over here so the delta e negative rt nd1 and then the gamma here uses this probability density function okay so to estimate probability density function if we go back the pdf probability density function one over if you like two pi square root of that and then e times um we have d1 squared divided by two okay and we get this value here of 0 0.0726 uh, gamma for the call and gamma for the put are the same so the gamma for the call gamma for the put same magnitude vega for the call vega for the put same magnitude we can verify that here the gamma for the call is the same as the gamma for the put the vega for the call is the same as the vega for the put the theta however is different okay and you might notice here we have a plus but a minus here for the put and a positive here for the put but a negative here for the call and also nd1 here but here a negative d1 and negative d2 but po n positive d2 here also we might note that we have different magnitude here for the 
row for the call and the row for the put.